Hi to all. Today we will discuss how to draw an involute of a circle. The given question is draw an involute of a circle of diameter 50 mm. The diameter of the circle is 5 cm. For it, also draw normal and tangent at a point 100 mm from the center of the circle. First we do the involute, after that we will do the normal and tangent to it. So just I have written the given data. Diameter of the circle it is 50 mm and radius is half in it 25 mm. By using the compass, take 25 mm radius. And then take O as center. Do one circle here. After doing the circle, divide this circle into 12 equal divisions. As we know at the center angle is 360 degrees. We have to divide this 360 degrees into 12 equal divisions. 360 by 12. It is 30 degrees. Each angle is 30 degrees. Initially do one diameter here. From it take 30-30 degrees by using the protractor. Take 30 degrees here. And then next 30 at the 60 it is coming. 60 plus 30 means 90. 90 plus 30 means 120. 120 plus 30 means 150. Okay, here we got these points okay so join this point to center and extend that line within the circle so this is the first part and extend it because circle is symmetrical about the taken diameter and then this point to center and then this point to center this point to center and then this point to center so here we have divided the entire circle into 12 equal divisions each division angle is 30 degrees here mark the intersection points I am starting from here this is the first point second third fourth fifth 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, this is the 12th one. So here I am taking this is the 12th point is P point, initial point. Okay. So after marking P point, at P do the peripheral length of this circuit. So how to find peripheral length of the circuit? We have one formula 2 by R. Length of the entire periphery. Okay. So here 2 into pi into what is the radius of it? So 25 mm, take in centimeters, 2.5 centimeters. So do with calci, 2 into pi into 2.5. This value we are getting 15.7 centimeters. So this is the length of the periphery. Okay, it is 15.7 centimeters. So at P point, do one line, horizontal line of 15.7 cm. So I have fixed the drafter at one of the corner. So at P point, I am taking 15.7 cm line. So just do one line here of 15.7. Mark this end point is Q point. Okay, PQ is the 2 pi r length. So after doing PQ length, so here at all the points we have to do the perpendicular line. So at 12th O12 we did the perpendicular line already by using the drafter scale like this. Okay, this line is a this scale is a perpendicular to this O12 length. Okay, similarly for O11 also do the perpendicular line. So fix a drafter scale to this line. Okay, O11 or 511 line like this with this scale do the perpendicular line so here do the line like this of some length okay. and we can call this line is a tangent to the circle at the 11th point tangent means this line is touching this circle at the 11th point okay so this is tangent one tangent this is the another tangent at 12th point this is the tangent at the 11th point Similarly, at 10th point also, do the tangent. 
fix the Doppler scale here. So one of the scale is coinciding with this at tenth do the perpendicular line it is a tangent okay of some length similarly at ninth also so fix the drafter scale here and at ninth do the perpendicular line after ninth uh, tangent ninth point tangent at eighth fix one of the drafter scale here do two eight and then shift the scale at eighth point and with this scale do the tangent after getting 8th tangent at 7th one fix the drafter scale here at 7th point with the another scale do the perpendicular line of some length okay. and at 6th also 6th we can do like this fix one of the scale here at 6th do the line in this direction After 6th, do at the 5th, fix the scale here at 5th 511 line, fix it and shift the scale here, another scale, do the tangent. After 5th uh, tangent, do at 4th one, fix the scale here at 4th point and at 4, do the perpendicular line. After 4, take this diameter as reference one with another scale do the tangent here at 3 now after 3 at 2 do the tangent with the another scale of some length okay. after 2 fix at 1 with another scale do the tangent after getting the tangents at all the points divide this pq length pq length just now we have calculated it is the peripheral length of this circuit okay, it is 15.7 so divide this pq length that is 15.7 into 12 equal divisions okay, 15.7 divided by 12 do with calci so each part is 1.3 centimeters so here divide this PQ into 12 divisions. So here each is 1.3 centimeters. Mark the first part 1.3 here. After that this is a one dash. Okay. Take this part with the help of compass. Okay. Now divide it into the remaining divisions. Second part 2 dash. And then third one 3 dash and then fourth one four dash fifth one five dash sixth one six dash seventh one seven dash eighth part eight dash ninth one nine dash this is the tenth one ten dash eleven dash and the last one is instead of the 12 dash also we can take if you measure this value it is also same okay so here we have divided into 12 equal divisions so at 12 12th point so mark the entire length that is 2 pi r length okay so this point i am taking p12 so from p point to 12th point it is this entire length i am marking this point is p12 now take the next length p11 length Okay, mark on the 11th tangent. Okay, next take P10 length. Mark on the 10th tangent. Okay, tangent passing through 10. Like that we have to mark all the length of the tangents. Initially the entire length I am marking it is P12. Here at the 11th point mark P11 length. From P point to 11. Okay, by using scale also you can measure you can mark on it. Or by using compass also from P point to 11th one. So this length we have to mark on the 11th tangent. So this one is a p 11th so this intersection point is p 11 distance okay for the 11th tangent and similarly for 10th tangent take p 10th okay from p point to 10th point so p 10 you have to mark here okay 
to mark this intersection point is P10 after marking P10 so here mark P9 okay P9 length by using compass P9 measure it here mark on the ninth tangent here give this intersection point is P9 next 8 so on 8 take the length P8 length okay by using compass so at the 8th point mark this length okay, take the intersection point P8 so after P8 next 7th tangent so on it mark P7 length P7 length do an arc so extend this line getting the intersection point so this intersection point is p7 and after getting p7 on 7 tangent take 6th one next so on it take p6 length okay, and mark the same length on the 6th tangent give the intersection point is p6 so after 6th one take the 5th one next take the p5 length mark on the fifth tangent take the intersection point p5 after p5 fourth tangent take p4 length 4 as center mark this length the intersection point is p4 after getting p4 take the third tangent take p3 length by using compass so 3 as center do an arc here Okay, take that intersection point is P3. Next second tangent, take the length P2. The length P2 length 2 as center. Draw an arc here. This intersection point is P2. Next take P1 length. Take P1 length 1 as center. Just do an arc here. Take this intersection point is P1. Join all these P points with the freehand curve. You will get involute. So start from here. So this is P1. This is P. P2. Okay. Join P. P1. P2. Next P3. I am joining P3. P2. Next I am joining these two. Next, P4, P5. Next, the join P5, P6. So this is the involute for the given circle. So make it dark this curve. So this is the involute curve. For this curve we have to do normal and tangent at 10 cm from the center of the circle. So which is the center of the circle? This is the center of the circle. From it take 10 cm on the curve by using compass. I am taking 10 cm. So this is the 10 cm from the center of the circle. Just take one point on the curve wherever it is touching. So here it is touching the curve at this point. At that point is some M point. So at M point we need to draw normal and tangent. So for doing normal and tangent, join O and M with the help of scale. After joining OM, bisect this OM length. Okay. By setting this, divide this OM length into two equal halves. Here we can measure the length, we can divide into two equal halves. So I am measuring with scale. So it is 10 cm. Take the middle point on it. Okay. So take the middle point of OM. So here we got mark it is O1. 
okay or you can bisect this arc by using the compass also okay so o1 is the middle point of mo okay take o1 as center by using compass mo radius just do one semicircle like this up to the circle okay it is touching this semicircle at this point to the circle so mark this point is some end point this point is end point join n and m with the help of scale it is a normal to the curve join n and m join nm okay it is a normal to this curve as we know tangent is perpendicular to this normal okay. so here at m point keep the protractor like this this is a normal and tangent is 90 degrees take 90 degrees here join m and this point it is a tangent I am giving the name here P T dash for the normal I am giving N the end point is N dash here T T dash is the tangent and N N dash is the normal the angle between normal and tangent is 90 and mark the given dimension diameter take any one diameter and mark the arrows diameter of the circle is 50 mm and this distance of M point from the center is 100 mm okay. and then this PQ length is it is peripheral length of this circle it is 157 mm Okay, and this is the complete involute for the given problem.